Hello students. In this video class, I will explain how to solve the eighth program in your data structure lab. Here is the program treatment says like this: Write a C program to display the contents of the file created in program number five in the following format. Actually, it's not program number five. It should be six because we have created a file uh, seven, not five. It it should be seven. So seventh program नली ना वो इन program file create मारे देवे. अधे file ना निका मत्तों तो सी program भरो दो display मारते नहीं. The format is specified like this: book number, book name, author, publisher. Price. So that means here is I will create a file using a program mentioned in the graded experiment seven. I will read the same file in eighth program. So now I will go for the same folder. This is the seventh program I explained in the previous demonstration. There a file is created. Here is file is created, and file is created in the statement F open in write mode. And really, file illa idhre create agutta. File already itto anta idhre irvanta content overwrite agutta. So this is the seventh one. Now I am solving eighth program. Before going to source code of eighth program, let us check the content of bookdb.txt i will open it in gini again observe here this is the content of the pro file booksdb.txt which has been created in the previous program that is seventh program program 07 the same content should be read by eighth program and display this content in the terminal So now we'll go for the source code of eighth program. Here also I will declare a structure because we have used structure format to create the files. Same structure is used here also. And name of the file is same. Books db dot txt. Finally, question only. Let me previous program. I need to use more. Then, what is the name I use more? Then, in the main function, I have declared a file pointer, and I have created structure array of five elements. Of the type struct book, struct book used in the eighth program and seventh program must be same. Same I give you. I can tell you file format is already specific. I have put it there. Number, book number, book name, book author, book publisher, book price. All these data data type matching I will give you. Now file will be opened in read mode. I am going to create my little girl. File already इरले बेको read mode and the name of the file is here is already given in the code that is books db dot txt. So इले code नले source code नले file name कोड़ो बदलो during runtime you can supply the file name also but you have to make minor changes in the program that is actually very good approach of solving the problem. And here is if the file is not found, then FPTR will have the content null. That means there is no reason to continue the program. So that is file opening process has been failed. So we have to terminate the program execution. So that is exit zero. If the file opening process is successful, then FPTR will contain the pointer to the file and Condition will be false, so exit will not work. So I will go to for loop. 
here I will take the value of i from 0 to less than 5 that is 4 so totally 5 times the loop will execute 5 times observe here in this for loop I am not using ordinary scanf statement I am using f scanf and really keyboard input martella nanu telkoluvanta information file ninda so here is i am using the file pointer and that is applied as the first argument to f scanf here is f scanf means file scanf so file f scanf and the control string is provided given same as in the previous program also and F scanf reads a line of text from the opened file and field wise the numerical data read in the first field is stored in book num. Likewise the string data read is stored in book name. The second string data read by the file uh, read in the file in the first line is stored in the variable book author. Likewise book publisher and book Price. Since it is an array, so I stored accordingly i is equal to 0. So here it is books of i dot book number. So after reading one line, file pointer is advanced to next line. So in the next iteration of the for loop, it reads the second line. And in the second line, so books of 1 dot num will contain the second book's details. So this process continued until all the lines are read but in our logic we will read only 5 lines. So once the for loop is successfully completed then the books array will have the 5 books details. Books array will have the 5 books details and the same is displayed on the screen. I'm sorry here is I am using printf not the fprintf because I have to send the information collected in the memory location to monitor. So here is i is equal to 0 to 4 that is 0 1 2 3 4 details of the book these are the additional printf statement to make the output more readable and understandable. So it is in the first book element books element is the details of a first book. So here is books i dot book num will contain the prior number of the first book then book name book author book publisher and book price so one books element that is zeroth member of books array is displayed that means that is one books information likewise when the i is incremented to one or next number then it will display the details of the book accordingly so if it is zero first book number uh, first book details and if i is equal to one then it is second book details this is continued until i takes the value five so then loop execution terminates then close the file then return zero so this is the program that we have created and it's very simple one see now i will compile this program first So in the folder, C program folder, one is 07, program 07.c, we have already practiced it. And from program 07.c, when we are running this, I have created booksdb.txt. Now program 08.c, that is opened in GDA editor, now I will compiling it. Compile it first. Okay, I got object file. So now I will advance to next step that is building the file to generate output file. So this is the file prog-08 without any extension is the executable file. So when I click on the icon to run the program it will run the executable file. Click on this. Okay I got the output. So this is the file details of the book. It opens the file. Let us compare the content of the file. Booksdb.txt. This is the source of the information. And here is the output that is from the file. So these five lines are taken from the file. Booksdb.txt. Observe that 
after every data we have included one comma here is that is not from the file it is because of the code written in the c language code so for example here is uh, so you can see that in the program 08.c in the printf after percentage d there is semicolon uh, comma here is also comma here is also comma because of this control string format we have got the output on the monitor after every details so we'll get the comma here is whereas such details is not in the actual file so here it completes the demonstration of running the eighth program so one thing here you should remember that before running the eighth program there should be a file ready if file is not ready you can manually type it also but you should know the format so it's better to run the program along with the previous program also then you will get the correct file format then you will get the correct output as in the previous case again you run the program make the changes in the program and identify why you got the wrong output or more refined output thank you